Rules and Advices to the Clergy of the Diocese of Down and Connor by Bishop Jeremy Taylor is a significant work offering guidance and pastoral advice to the clergy under his care. This work reflects Taylor's deep concern for the spiritual and moral integrity of the clergy and his commitment to the proper exercise of their pastoral duties. What follows is a detailed summary of that work, including quotes. Summary of Rules and Advices to the Clergy of the Diocese of Down and Connor The Importance of Clerical Piety and Holiness Taylor emphasizes that a clergyman's life must be a model of holiness and virtue, reflecting the sanctity of the office he holds. A clergyman must be holy in his own life and must have a greater sanctity than the laity because he hath a greater employment and an obligation of a nearer relation to God and of a deeper charge and concernment to the souls of others. Diligence in Prayer and Devotion the clergy are urged to be diligent in their personal prayers and public devotions, recognizing prayer as the foundation of their ministry. Let every clergyman be frequent in his prayers and be sure to observe the canonical hours as far as they are in his power. For every morning and every evening, let him be sure to say his prayers and to offer up his devotions to God. Preaching and Teaching Taylor advises that preaching should be clear, instructive, and based on Scripture. The clergy should aim to edify and guide their congregations, avoiding overly elaborate or showy sermons. Preach practical doctrines, such as may make them better Christians, rather than more learned disputers. Teach them humility, charity, patience, and obedience. Pastoral Care and Visitation the clergy are encouraged to visit their parishioners regularly, especially the sick and needy. This pastoral care is seen as an essential aspect of their ministry. Let no man be negligent in visiting the sick and poor, for by this means, besides the reward of charity, you shall also have an opportunity to do the work of your souls. Moral Integrity and Conduct Taylor insists on the highest moral standards for the clergy advising them to avoid all forms of scandal or behavior that could undermine their ministry. Be circumspect in all your actions, for the eyes of all men are upon you, and remember that your actions are to be exemplary, and you are to be a guide and pattern to your flock. Moderation in Lifestyle The clergy are advised to live modestly and avoid excesses in food, drink, and other pleasures. Taylor stresses that their lifestyle should reflect the humility and simplicity of the gospel. Let your table be sober and frugal, that you may be an example of temperance to others, and that your wealth may be as well shared with the poor as with yourself. Administration of the Sacraments Proper administration of the sacraments, particularly the Eucharist and baptism, is emphasized. Taylor urges the clergy to approach these sacred duties with reverence and care. Be sure to administer the holy sacraments with all reverence and devotion, as becomes the great mysteries of our religion. Education and study. Continuous study and self-education are encouraged. Taylor believes that clergy should be well-versed in theology, scripture, and moral philosophy, to effectively guide their congregations. Let no man be idle, but let him improve his time in reading, in study, and in prayer, for a clergyman should be like a fountain, always full, that he may pour out his knowledge for the benefit of others. Conflict Resolution and Church Discipline The clergy are advised on how to handle conflicts within the church, stressing the importance of patience, prudence, and the careful application of church discipline. In matters of discipline, proceed with lenity and compassion, rather than with severity and rigor, for the Lord is merciful and delights not in the destruction of sinners. The clergy's relationship with each other. Taylor encourages mutual respect and support among the clergy, advising them to avoid envy and rivalry and to work together harmoniously for the good of the church. Let all the clergy love one another, 
and be at peace among themselves, for schisms and divisions among the pastors are the ruin of the flock. Conclusion Bishop Jeremy Taylor's Rules and Advices to the Clergy of the Diocese of Down and Connor provides a comprehensive guide for clergy to lead lives of piety, diligence, and humility. Taylor's work remains a valuable resource for understanding the pastoral responsibilities and moral expectations placed on clergy in the 17th century, and it continues to offer timeless wisdom for spiritual leadership.